Hello there guys, Shannon here, and I am back to react to the next episode of Red vs. Blue. This will be episode 74. So, we're calling the doctor in. <laughs> uh, we're just going to jump right in and see how this is going to go. Right to remain silenced. Sarge, finally, I need to tell you what the Blues are planning. I thought I told you idiots not to let this traitor come back in the base. Good to see you too, sir. <laughs> Good to see you. Too. He's standing right here. Well, obviously, he penetrated the defensive protocol that me and Private Donut established. Defense protocol? You asked me what the password was. And you knew it. I guessed it. By the way, the password was password. It's so obvious, it's impossible to guess. <laughs> no, it isn't. A password should contain at least one number and one letter. For example, your password would be too dumb to live. Excellent bird! Thank you, sir. Traitor, damn it. Stupidity <laughs> aside, I'm not speaking with you until we punish your insubordination and treason. How about I just trade you the information that I learned from the Blues? No! We have to have a trial! Right here, right now! What? We don't even have a judge. In affirmative. In my civilian life, <laughs> I worked as a judge for many years. Oh, Life's God. Municipal? Federal? Livestock. And occasionally agriculture. Now let's find out if Simmons is guilty of treason or best in breed. I don't recognize the authority of this court. No one cares what a convicted criminal thinks. But aren't I innocent until you prove me guilty? Nonsense! Why would we waste time having trials for innocent people? That would be a waste of resources. But I'm not <laughs> True. guilty until you hold trial and convict me. So you admit it's a foregone conclusion? No, wait. I mean, no. What yes, the no. fuck? That was right, I think. Okay, this is officially more boring than any of the other times I've been to court. Permission to sigh and walk away, sir? Permission denied. If you leave, Simmons won't have anybody to defend him. Whoa, 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 wait a second. I prefer to defend myself. I knew you'd say that. And as the old saying goes, a person who chooses to defend himself has a fool for a lawyer. And that fool is Griff. Who's the prosecutor? <laughs> well, I am, of course. You're the judge and the prosecutor? That's a conflict of interest. I object to that as speculative. And I also sustain my own objection. Uh, we'd like to enter a plea. What? Look, it's only a matter of time before Donut finds out we're having this trial. I'm listening. <laughs> if you're the judge and the DA, and I'm the defense, you know Donut's gonna want to be the bailiff, and that means he's gonna want to wear the cop uniform with the short shorts. Oh, God. Officer Hot Pants. Exactly. And I think we can all remember that dance routine from Sarge's birthday party. Wait, oh, what? Oh, my God, that cake is huge. It's big enough to fit a person in it. Wow. The cake smells like baby oil. Oh, God. Where's Donut? Uh, okay. We'll commute Simmons' sentence in favor of time served. With time off for good behavior. No one wants a messy trial. I also think you should pay a hefty fine, which we can split. Agreed. But I didn't do anything. You just keep your mouth shut, and don't talk to the press. <laughs> hey, what's going on in there? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> they fucking got rid of it all just because they didn't want Donut around. <laughs> we don't know what to expect from these fools. This could all be an elaborate trap, and we don't want to be caught off guard. You mean, get caught in a trap before we have a chance to spring our trap? Precisely, you fool. Now shut up. It Precisely, you fool. Out. Lopez, what you see up there? Nada mucho. Como <laughs> Nothing siempre. much, just like always. Esta lugar es <laughs> yeah, it does suck. <laughs> Which one is the blue base? It's the blue one. <laughs> yeah, that's just... Uh, the ball. Like, you needed to be fucking told that. Hmm, it's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> now suddenly it's too loud. Yep. Alright, hold it right there! You know, I man. see someone now. Yeah, I think he has a gun. Yes, I see that. Thank you for keeping us informed. <laughs> yeah, that was just a warning shot, O'Malley. You make any funny moves, the next one's gonna go right in the middle of your visor. You think you can make that shot from here? Uh, probably not. I was actually trying to hit him that time. <laughs> fucks with the sights on this thing when I'm not looking. <laughs> no, it's just you. This was just some elaborate scheme to lure us into an ambush. First of all, I don't know if calling you on the phone and inviting you over. I don't know if that qualifies as an elaborate scheme. Yeah. And secondly, we're not ambushing you. We just want to lay down some ground rules for your visit. I'm not very big on rules, you know. It's true. We have this system back at the evil lair where we each clean on different days. But I always end up doing it. Oh, shut up. And he always leaves the milk out. You fool, be quiet. And don't even get me started on the phone, Bill. <laughs> hey, oh, my God. I see you're still swimming around in that head somewhere, too. Well, it's not the ideal situation, but any relationship requires work if you... You fool. Only Doc could try to make an I'm evil genius invest... Plans. Implanting into your mind a good thing and try and work on the relationship. Only Doc. 
speed on your entrails. <laughs> Only duck. I love you too, buddy. <laughs> oh god, damn it, duck. Bright ideas about jumping into anyone else today, O'Malley. We've all got our radios off, and we've all got our minds cleared. We're not thinking about anything. For some of us, that was easier than others. <laughs> I didn't thinking about something. It didn't start thinking about anything else. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to come in. You're going to take a look at Tucker. You're going to tell us what's wrong. And then you're going to leave. Mm, and what do we get? What do you want? And I should warn you, Tex is not here. So if you have any cute ideas for her, don't bother. Well, a standard physical usually requires a $20 copay. Hey, ask him what kind of health insurance plan they have. You fool. Let me negotiate. We want something from you. But we're not going to tell you what it is until we need it. <laughs> That's a dick no move. Way. I'm not agreeing to something without knowing what it is. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. Uh, you will, or your little friend Tucker will die. Die a most horrible death. And you know his blood will be on your hands years from now. You'll drive yourself mad wondering if there was anything you could have done to save him. So you will agree to what I want. You will agree uh, even Are we talking about the same church? I don't think he'll give a shit. What I want is something frightening. What I want is something pure evil! <laughs> are we doing it a little bit, aren't you? I've also been told that his $20 copy is pretty much standard. Alright, fine. Ha! <laughs> you fool! And we want the $20 up front! Fine! And in cash! Uh, whatever! Ah, you moron! If you'd used a credit card, you could have gotten airline miles! <laughs> I don't think he gives a shit! He doesn't seem to go anywhere else! <laughs> oh. Give me $20. Wait, give me $30. <laughs> Just getting all the money off of Caboose. So, what the f- yeah, I don't think it's gonna- <sighs> So yeah, Mally's there. <laughs> Oh god, this is just going to get interesting. But yeah, hopefully we'll find out what's wrong with Tucker. Hope he doesn't die, he's a very fun character. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to just end it here guys so I can go watch the next one. I'm probably going to go watch up to episode, the season finale probably now if I'm honest. But yeah, once again guys, thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye!